What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Oak Tree Football Channel, and welcome to another College Football 2020 Predictions video. And today, I'll be doing the University of Clemson, the Clemson Tigers. The Clemson Tigers are, have been one of the best college football teams for the past few years, made the national championship the past two seasons, have one of the best quarterbacks in college football in Trevor Lawrence, have one of the best running backs in college football in Travis Etienne, have one of the best wide receivers in college um, in Justin Ross. It's just a great roster all around. Uh, it's one of the most well-built rosters in all of college football. Um, and without a doubt, they should be uh, in the race for the college football playoff this season and even the college football national championship. Uh, and I expect them to be one of the top teams in college football. Um, with players like uh, tr uh, Trevor Lawrence can be a Heisman contender this year. Um, it's just a great roster all around. Trevor Lawrence in his career has only lost one game for Clemson. They've only lost one game the past two seasons, uh, whereas they've played 30 games. Uh, they've only lost one. That was their last game in the national championship game against LSU. Great football team. Um, and really, really, they're well coached as well. It's just Great team all around, and without a doubt, they should be one of the top teams in college football. Um, just, I mean, it's it's such a great team. And uh, without further ado, let's get into looking at their schedule. Um, so they went 14-1, of course, last season. Won all their regular season games. Won in the ACC championship game. Beat Ohio State in the playoffs, which was a bit of an upset. Um, but then lost to LSU in the national championship game. Uh, they had the fifth best recruiting class in the country. Um, obviously that's really, really good, uh, and it's just going to make them an even better team. They are losing a bit of talent, um, at the draft, uh, important, the most important player they lost was probably Isaiah Simmons on the defense, but they still do have solid players on the defensive side of the ball, um, and, uh, yeah, so let's get into looking at their schedule week one there at Georgia Tech. Uh, I think this is an easy way to start off the season. Uh, even though it is on the road, Georgia Tech just isn't the greatest football team. Uh, and they, I think they should be able to win this game fairly comfortably. Um, it's it, it shouldn't be much of a challenge. Uh, get get into the groove of things. Get, get, it will be a good way for them to get into the groove of thing, one, things once again after an off season and after um, their last game being a loss in the national championship game. Um but uh, it stood still. I think I think it will be a win. I think it will be a comfortable win, um, and I, I don't I don't see him being much of a challenge for Clemson, uh, and I think it should be off to a one and zero start this season. Week two they play Louisville. Uh, they are at home for this game, which um, gives them the advantage, uh, and they already have the advantage already with their team. But Louisville uh, can actually be a really really good team this season. Uh, they're pretty well. They can be well coached. They have some good players on the team, and they could actually be a really, really good team this year. That being said, though, they're not uh, on the same level as Clemson. I do think they can be ranked this season, but I don't think they'll be a top 10 rank, even top 5 rank like I think Clemson can be. Uh, so I expect Louisville to actually put up some points, but uh, Clemson should be able to win that game. I think they can start this season off 2-0 and fairly easily. Uh, week 3 against Akron. This one shouldn't be much of a challenge, I don't think. Should be able to win this game um, uh, just with the pieces they have. Um, like, they have one of the best running backs, one of the best quarterbacks, uh, a great wide receiver as well. Just such a great roster all around. Um, and they should be uh, unbelievable this season, and they should be able to be Akron, especially because this game is at home. Should be able to have a pretty big win. Uh, against Akron to start the season probably 3-0, I would say. Uh, week 4, then they play Virginia. This, of course, is a rematch of last year's ACC championship game. Um, Clemson, uh, it wasn't really that much of a close game. Clemson really uh, just showed that they were the better team uh, for the whole the whole game. Uh, and I do think they will do that again here. They are playing at home. Virginia is losing a lot of their talent on the roster. Uh, and they're not going to be as good as they were last season. They could still be a good team, but they're probably not going to be a top 25 team like they were this past year. Um, and they're probably not going to be in the ACC championship game um, because they do have a tough schedule and they there are some better teams in the ACC. Um, uh, so I do think this should be a win for Clemson, especially this game being at home. Uh, I think they can start the season off 4-0 at this point. Uh, really, uh, Louisville and Virginia uh, aren't shouldn't be two tough games, but 
Um, they uh, or they shouldn't be too tough. They might be. They're going to be tougher than Georgia Tech and Akron, though, I do think. But they should still be able to win those games. Week 5 uh, at Boston College. Um, they are on the road, but still Boston College just isn't the best football team. They're losing uh, one of their best players in A.J. Dillon, possibly even their best player, who went to the draft and was taken by the Green Bay Packers in the second round. Um, but it's it's just it does not look like the best roster for Boston College. They haven't been that successful in recent years. Um, and I just can't see them having a really good year this season either. Um, I mean, their success uh, has not really since, I mean, they had Matt Ryan, of course, but they haven't really had that much success after that. Um, so I, I don't think Boston College will be a great team this season. Um, uh, and I, I do think that Clemson will be able to win this game, even on the road. Week six, though, I think this is the first seriously tough game. Uh, uh, I think Virginia and Louisville are tough. They're just at home, so I think they'll be able to win. This is the first game that I actually think they could lose, uh, and it's at Florida State, which some of you might not expect this to be a loss, and I do think Clemson is the better team than Florida State. Um, well, first of all, Clemson is not playing at home for this game. They're playing at Florida State, and Florida State actually has a really, really good roster, and I think they could be a really good team this season. Uh, I think they could be a top 25 team, probably not at the top, probably a lower top 25 team, but I, I really do think uh, they could be, especially now with Mike Norvell as their head coach, uh, a lot of good pieces on the team, um, and they they could actually be a really, really good team this season, uh, and they could be um, a team that actually beats some uh, bigger bigger teams that they're playing this season, uh, such as Clemson, also Florida, they are going to be playing Florida this season, that could be a sneaky game that they win also, um, so Florida State could actually be a really, really good team this season. Um, and I do expect them to give uh, Clemson a solid challenge uh, in this game. Um, that being said, though, I still do believe Clemson will be able to win. But I do think it will be a very, very tough game for them. Florida State, I mean, I've, I've said it already, but they look very well built heading into this season. Um, and I think they're going to be a really good team. Uh, even though they are losing uh, Cam Akers, still look like a good team. Uh, and I do think they can be good, and I do think this will be a close game, especially because Florida State is at home. But, I mean, Clemson is the better team uh, when it's all said and done. Clemson is the better team, and they should be able to get a victory in this game. Uh, Clemson then plays at home against NC State. Uh, NC State uh, isn't a great football team, and they should be able to win this game fairly comfortably. Same with Syracuse. Two just not great teams. I mean, Syracuse might actually have a decent season, uh, but... Uh, I don't expect that much from NC State this year, uh, and they're both at home, so I do think Clemson should be able to get it done in both of those games um, before a bye week, and this is a very well-placed bye week because after this rest, they play probably the toughest game on their schedule, um, and that is at Notre Dame. Notre Dame uh, is just a great football team, uh, and they should be in the top 25. They should be uh, maybe even top 10 in the top 25, uh, but I, I think about... Um, around, like, top 15. I think that's where they should be ranked this year. Uh, it's at Notre Dame, which just makes it tougher. Even if this game was at home for Clemson, it would be really, really tough. And because it's on the road, that just makes it so much tougher. This is game. This is a game that they could 100% lose. Um, but I do think that they are the better team, just with the pieces around them. I do think they are the better team, and I do think that they will be able to win this game, I do think. But it's going to be insanely close. I do think so. Um, t Clemson's toughest game of the year uh, above Florida State and above everybody else. S such a tough game. I could definitely see them losing. Um, it's going to be a very entertaining game as well. Um, so that's going to be a very, very interesting game. Week 11 to play the Citadel. Uh, this one shouldn't be a challenge, I don't think. It's similar to games like Akron and NC State. It shouldn't be much of a challenge. I do think they will be able to win. Um, this game, especially because they're at home, uh, and then Week 12 at Wake Forest. Wake Forest uh, is losing uh, their quarterback, uh, Jamie Newman, which is really going to hurt. They do still have some good players on the roster, uh, not denying that, but they're not going to be uh, that great. They had a good start to last season, kind of fell off later in the year. I, I don't think th I, I don't think they'll be that great this season, even with some good pieces. Losing Jamie Newman's really going to hurt, and they're just not the best team. Uh, really overall, uh, even with some good players. And I do think even on the road, Clemson should be able to get a W in that game. Um, so this is 
uh, it's the, it's a pretty easy schedule, honestly, for Clemson. There's only a few tough games uh, sprinkled in there. Uh, week 13, South Carolina. Uh, this is kind of a rivalry game because um, there's two Carolinas. Uh, but it still should still be a win for Clemson, I do believe so, at home. Um, and they had a big win against South Carolina this past season. Uh, and, and I think they can win again against South Carolina. The, and, um, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a rivalry, but I, I do think Clemson is uh, a lot, uh, a very, very much better team than South Carolina. Uh, and they should be able to get this win. So, uh, looking at the schedule, there's only a few tough games uh, for uh, Clemson. Uh, the only two games I could really, really see them losing would be Notre Dame and Florida State. But I could see them losing games like Louisville and Virginia. Um, but, uh, I mean, I could see those being really close and maybe even losing. But the only games I could really, really see them losing is Florida State and Notre Dame. But now I will go through, uh, like I always do, and I'll give uh, the prediction for who I think will win each game. Uh, week 1 against Georgia Tech, I think this is a win. Uh, I think it should be fairly easy win as well. Week 2 against Louisville, I think this can be a really close game. But Clemson is the better team, and I do think they should be able to win. Week 3 against Akron. I think they should be able to win this game as well. Akron might be able to put up a bit of a fight, but they should still be able to win this game uh, fairly easily at home. And then week four against Virginia. This should be a really, really close game, uh, just like the Louisville game at home, but it should still be very tough. I do think so. Um, but Clemson is the better team at the end of the day, and they should be able to win this game uh, to start off 4-0. I think they'll then beat Boston College, start 5-0, and and then I think they'll beat Florida State. Uh, I think it will be very close, but I do think they'll beat Florida State. 6-0, I think they'll beat NC State and Syracuse um, before their bye week to be undefeated 8-0 uh, heading into the game against Notre Dame. And I do think they will squeeze out a victory against Notre Dame. Um, they could definitely lose that game, and I probably would not be surprised if they did lose. But uh, I do think they are the better team, and I do think they will be able to get a victory. Uh, week 11 against the Citadel, that should be one of their easier wins of the season, I think. Um Week 12 against Wake Forest, I think this is a win. And then Week 13 against South Carolina, I think that's a win. To give them a perfect record of 12-0 and 0 this season. That is what I think about Clemson. Uh, just like I said, great, great roster all around. They are losing some talent, such as T. Higgins and Isaiah Simmons. But uh, especially especially um, losing T. Higgins, they already have players to fill in uh, at that position. Uh, it's it's a, such a good team for Clemson uh, all around. I think Trevor Lawrence will be a Heisman finalist this year. Um, unbelievable team, and I think this should definitely be enough to get them into the college football playoff. So if you have been following the series, you will know that this is the third undefeated team that I have. And I'm just going to say now this is the final undefeated team that I have. Um, uh, so Ohio State, Clemson, and Georgia, uh, those are the three undefeated teams I have. Uh, uh, so in the regular season, I think those teams will be able to make it uh, to the college football playoff. It does depend on the championship game, but I do think they will be able to make it to the playoff. Uh, I think Clemson will probably win in the championship game. Uh, I, I don't think there's uh, that a ACC isn't that tough of a conference. I think it will be better this season. I think Louisville, Florida State, teams like those guys could be good. Uh, Virginia Tech as well. Um, but I do still think that they should be able to uh, – be the best team, uh, and be one of the best teams in college football. I could see them being the uh, number one team heading into the college football playoff. Um, but in the end, I do think they'll make it to the college football playoff, and I think it'll be between them and Ohio State for the number one team in the country. I think it'll be same between uh, Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields for the Heisman. Um, so, um, I and I think we could see Ohio State versus Clemson in the national championship game this season. So that's what I think about Clemson. What do you think about Clemson? Tell me in the comment section below. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new around here or just haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more daily college football and NFL content. Um, but once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.